Hey everyone, hope you all had a great weekend. Thanks for joining me today on November 7th. And as always, we are not financial advisors and everything you see on here is for educational purposes only. All right, let's get started with, we'll check out the dollar real quick. Um, we dropped right back down. Now with the dollar, you know, the one thing I'm, I was kind of nervous about it for it to play out this pattern that we talked about. And we went back up. We we're supposed to go back up slowly and then a big drop, but we went up pretty quick and then had a big drop. So this is pretty interesting because it's supposed to fall right back down to this area. So we should have this to technically push back down and then, you know, kind of start pushing back up on the way back up. If we break above this, then, you know, it's it's game over for the market because well, it's crypto market because it's going to dump everything down, which matches with what's supposed to happen anyways. You know this time but for some reason this kind of happened faster unless we broke the pattern sooner you know instead of going all the way to the top because it does go higher all the way up to this so i'm hoping we broke this then we start heading down to our target of 106 on the dollar but let's look at bitcoin so this is kind of a good thing and a bad thing um the good thing is that it, it did drop um what we needed to right last night i was talking about how you know, we were in this area here, right? In this area here, and we dropped. And if you look at this candle, this candle represents these two candles here, maybe even the third, right? Just like how this big candle here represented these two candles. So this candle here is represented by these two. And if you look at this candle, it dropped a little bit lower than half, right? So if you combine these together, it dropped to about half, you know, where it's supposed to be. You know, we were on a strong reversal fib up here, which is only like, you know, three quarters, which is where this is at. But you, we, you know, this is why I mentioned last night. Technically, it shows it should drop more, although we are at a good reversal place where we could head back up. So this is why I said, you know, we have to wait for the retest to see if we drop below, which we did. Now we drop below and landed on the white fib. Now, this is where things get confusing because the white fib represents that we're going to do a temporary reversal back up and then drop back down. So when we reverse back up, we could continue to go up and that white fib could be filled once we come back down. So that can still play the part. Um, what, what I don't like is the fact that I have this second arrow target at like T, which could like, you know, in theory, push the market back down, especially if we're going to have a reversal back up and then it could come back down to the 19. You know, I'm hoping it doesn't come down sooner. I hope it does do the finish to the whole pattern and then comes back down. Because we also have a target up here and we haven't hit this target in a while. And usually because this is a fresh new target, it can stay here. This target, the second arrow that I have back here, does need to get filled. And I'll go over an, an example later on in one of the coins. But we do know we, it is it is due time to come up to 21. This is why when we were down here and I was, you know, telling everybody, hey, you should dollar cost averaging. This is why we should dollar cost averages because the market is going to push back up. Now the market has pushed back up. And I have had a few people reach out to me and goes, hey, it's too late to buy. Oh, I was waiting because like, you know, the psychic said it's going to go lower or this other trade. And it's like, uh, at this point, because, you know, we're already like more kind of like halfway there. You know, it, it's rough to be like, oh yeah, you can still get in. Because a lot of a lot of some, look, the coins are pumped. Which is another thing I've kept telling people, look. We have patterns of three coins on where, you know, how the pump could happen. You know, how they can have little nice little pumps. This doesn't mean other coins are not going to pump. And I've been saying this for weeks as well now. And all of a sudden, you know, um, Algo has had big pumps. Matic has had really big pumps, you know. Adam, Phantom, you know what I mean? This is why I said that, because I saw it coming. I was like, you know what? These are the only ones we could see, but I know if Bitcoin's going to push back up and be bullish for a couple weeks, you think the other coins are not going to thrive off of that? You know? Um, but like I said, you know, we're halfway there, pushing back up, but we're going to come back down anyways. We'll have to come back down to like 19. So remember, we, we've, we've gone from like just a downward market. So I'm going to look at BTC real quick on the weekly. You know, we switched from, you know, a downward market. And we're now going to go into a sideways market, which a sideways market will have like, you know, ups, downs, ups, downs, ups, down, like, and like decent moves up and decent moves down. But when we go up, just know we're going to come all the way back down. 
Now, we're not going to go lower than what we had before, right? Because this curve goes up. So, like, right now, this here, this area here is 18,000 on Bitcoin. This bottom over here is 32. But it is going to come down. So, like, you don't have to worry about, like, oh, it's going to move now. It's going to take off. Like, oh, I should have bought cheaper. You'll have plenty of times to buy, right? Every t This is why you want to buy every dip. So, at this point, you're just dollar cost averaging little by little. Not, you know trying to FOMO, you know, it's not a bear market. There's not going to be, you know, a crazy, you know, pumping spree of meme coins and stuff like that, you know. None of that's going to happen for at least another year and a half. But, you know, it will happen again. And this is why it's important to buy the dips, right? If you wake up, market is up, everything's green plus 5%, you don't touch it. Don't FOMO in, you know, it's okay. It'll come right back down. But right now, we're following the path perfectly, right? Um, since my last free uh, update, I talked about... We were back here, and I mentioned how... I think it was the 31st. Somewhere back here. Yeah, we we're talking about how, you know, we still had to drop lower because of this, right? Like, look how... And look how close we got, too. I'll delete this for now. Right? Like, if we look at this here, and you see how we only, we had to drop but close enough to that. So... If you look at this close enough to that so same scenario was here is we were all the way up here and I was like you know what like technically we would have to drop a little bit more but we were at a place where we could push back up but we did break through now we are on a um, on a white fave so this means temporary up and this temporary uh, temporary up could help out with the momentum the market has right now and we can continue to push up and then come back down We'll go up, close out the 21 target, come back down, close this Y fib and this 19 target. And again, you know, these are going to be the signs of like, all right, this is where, you know, once we drop back down, all right, you want to do the dollar cost averaging. Remember, on this way up, I'm not going to take any profits because, again, I want that one year. Um, but I will take profits on a few coins, which is like, you know, Shiba and Doge. Um, but you can look here on our pattern we went we pushed back up now we're dropping back down so that's actually really annoying because it dropped down too much but at least it's you know we can make a lower low you know bitcoin could be at a bottom and it can start pushing back up so xrp could push back up and then it still be it still does that you know and then people are going to start saying like oh look um you know reverse head and shoulders i mean not reverse and shoulders, reverse uh cup and handle in a sense or actually yeah, but that would break pattern. So we'll see. Again, this is why I have a breakout point because we want to watch it just in case. Everything's just taking a sweet time though. Um, you know, we know Algo has an open target down here. So it's kind of interesting how much it's pumped. And this is a, a good example of like what I've told people like, hey, dollar cost average your coins because you would have been buying Algo down here somewhere in the middle and be up 35%. You know, with Rose, it took a while but we finally closed our uh, our target at 0 0.07006. Keep in mind, we still have this target down here. Rose is going to have a nice pump eventually. And maybe soon. But. And that could be a good example of how high the coins can go. But for right now is, you know, for a, while, for a while. Since back here, I'm like, you know what? Like, Rose has to come back up to 7, 0 0.07 cents. And here we are. We touched it. But we had a really ugly rejection, so we'll see how that one turns out. When we look at Shiba, Shiba's playing perfectly according to plan. You know, since our last update and a free update as well, we mentioned how we're just going to go sideways. We're just going to literally go sideways. And here we are, just going sideways. I'm looking for towards the end of December for a nice pump. Now, Matic had a really nice pump. It looks like it hit the top and came back down. Um, not too much information for the coins now. It all is going to depend on Bitcoin, but... That's why I'm not going too much over them. Uh, but Luna, we, we actually finally came down and touched this, which is what I wanted. I wanted to touch this to be in a better spot. Then we knew we were going to push back up. Guess what happened? We pushed up nicely, went sideways. Now we need to go sideways, go up, and then drop back down and continue to go sideways for a while. Like, this is going to be like Luna's not going to pump until like the end of December. Um, which is what happened with Bitcoin too. Like, right, that was a nice green candle. I kept trying to like, all right, you know, once we were down here and it's like, all right, we look like we're holding. Now we need to push back up with the big green candle and boom, everybody was all excited the next day because everything was so green. So Luna did that nice little pump as well. 
Um, another one that hit our target was IOTech. You know, we mentioned, hey, we have a target up here at 0 0.0319, and it's actually blown through. And right now it's kind of just going sideways, so nailed that target as well. With Adam, we've been pumping up nicely. So right now it's what, $14? Remember how it looked like 11? I know a few people were stacking up at 11, so that's a nice little, nice little bag that we're getting. So, but the thing is, this thing has two targets. Uh, it has a two arrow target. So Adam does have to drop below 13. So I'm curious on how much higher it's gonna go and then dump back down to that. Also, like I mentioned earlier for Bitcoin, we've had this second arrow target at 21 for a while, so it has to get filled. Um, I'll take the same thing, right? We have this arrow here. We need to come back up to this arrow, which is around this area, that you know, 31. So eventually, it just completely came back up, right? And we were going down, and it looked like. Oh, give me one second. My alarm's going off. What's up about that? Someone's alarm went off. Um. So we knew how we had to come back up, and. You can see the thing was just going down and down and down and it looked like there was no hope for this and all of a sudden it just bounces back. So that's technically what Bitcoin's doing, right? It was just kind of going sideways and all of a sudden it's like, hey, we got to push back up because it's been a while for this. This is how you know like after a while, hey, this target's still here. Oh, you know what? It's time for it to come back down. Um, as far as everybody else, you know, they had a nice push. They're still pushing back down. AVAX, um, Ethereum. I'm gonna wait for the day to finish before, cause usually I can be like, hey look, this is on, it's down now, it can come back up. But I really wanna wait for Bitcoin to show me where it's gonna close before I give everybody an update. Um, you know, with data, you know, data we came down here, data we knew we hit a white fib, we know we're gonna do a temporary reversal down, and then we would have to get back above the white fib, and then boom, we went right back up, but then dropped right below, since the market's been a little bearish lately. Which we kind of, you know, we already knew it was, since we had to do that little drop. All right, so for Zill, we have an open target. We need a second arrow target at 0 0.029. So we do know this thing has to drop back down. Um, I could still push back up, you know, with Bitcoin. If Bitcoin holds there, it can push back up, and then I could easily, you know, go back up. But then it would have to come back down. And that's how I know a lot, you know, a lot of these coins are building that second arrow targets now. So it does tell me, hey, we're coming back down. So yeah, we'll be, we'll have our ups and downs. So that's gonna be normal. Um, I had this pattern played out here. It looks like it might. I don't know if it's playing out quite right because this one should have been a little bit more than just these two candles. This is doing that. So we could be in this area here where it can slowly push back up, but then drop back down. So. It had the quite. It did lose quite some steam now. Well, not not lose the steam because it had to dump back down. It's actually holding pretty well, but it lost the steam on pumping. Damn! Look at Soul. I don't know. Soul used to always be pumping like crazy. Now it has big old drops back down. Dot. You know, Vent and Bat had a nice little uh, push back up. So, again, you know, I don't want to make this video too long. Um, already at what 13 minutes? Oh damn. Um, we're gonna, you know, everything's gonna depend on Bitcoin. It looks like we should hold here. Um, if anything crazy happens, I'll update the mar uh, everybody on Discord. But for the most part, you know, we're right there on the pattern, so I can see it start. You know, it should technically recover back up to where it's like kind of towards the top and then push up. So it should recover back up to like twenty nine hundred and then start pushing back up. And this is a pretty decent uh, candle, so it might push up nicely. I'm gonna push up above the white fit so that will close out the white fit there so again we're gonna still continue to be bullish until you know the 18th uh, then we're gonna kind of go you know down side you know kind of nice little drop towards the end of the month kind of go sideways and then start making our really nice big descent so for those that you know are are looking to take profits that's you know around here and keep in mind if, if, if Bitcoin does a little sideways well, the drop will probably bring it down. The sideways might push it up. But honestly, I would start taking profits around the 18th of November. Obviously, I'll be letting people know, like, hey, look, this could be the top for Bitcoin. You know, we have, you know, coins are staying on the 18th. Like, um, she was towards the end. So as Bitcoin drops, you know, this is around the time where some coins are staying, they could pump. So we'll see. We'll play it by ear and how everything turns out. But at least we have some sort of map out, right? 
So with that said, I will see everybody in the Discord. Uh, this is where you can tune up because this is where I do my ads. Um, for anybody that's not on the Discord, um, I do have a, I actually have my website up and running now. Uh, where it kind of goes over what Tindicator is, talks about the Discord, has the links to it, uh, talks about the trading course, um, you know, some of the things people have said. I gotta update this more because there's a lot more people, but it's just, you know, I gotta go get permissions and stuff like that. And then the link to our YouTube channel, which is probably how you're watching this video. Um, but like, this is pretty much our tiers for the Discord. Uh, $10 a month gets, gets you weekly. Uh, video updates so I post I post um, these market updates Monday through Friday um, for $30 you get the peace of mind so and the reason I, I, I called it the peace of mind is for this reason here you know you, you do get that peace of mind you don't know which way you're not gonna get stuck and not know which way the market is going um, you know what I mean like back here we nailed for over 60 days which way Bitcoin was gonna play out right we knew like we, need, we had like a really great idea like which is going to go out. We're not going to be like, oh, it's going to take off. Oh, it's going to completely like dump. No, it's going to dump way over here before any of this was on here. In this area, we were kind of, we weren't in the dark because we still kind of figured like, okay, it's going up, but we still have to drop back down. I know it's going up, we still have to drop back down. So we still had that like granted mind. I'm like, oh, it's going to bounce back up and take off. Because as soon as the market bounces back up, you see all the... The YouTube videos and the psychics say, oh, you know, give out these, you know, higher targets and stuff. And then it comes all the way back down. But once we did this, we were looking for this little guy here, which was this. And then we knew we were going to come back up, right? For those that have been watching, or if you go back and look at my previous videos, you've seen how we mapped this out perfectly, right? We knew we were going to go up, come back down, go sideways, push up, you know, a little down, up, little down, up. Again, a little down, we go back up. So... This is why I call it peace of mind because you you do get that peace of mind. You're not all worried about like, well, this person says up, this person says down, this person says sideways, this person says you know Bitcoin ten billion dollars tomorrow. Like, you know, you don't have to worry about all those clickbaits and stuff like that. You know, none of my videos ever have clickbait. It's simple. Hey, market update. Simple as that. Um, I do have an edge tier, and the reason I call it edge is because you actually do get the edge on the market because now whenever you know you can request your chart. So let's say you hear some, you know, other trader or some YouTuber with these clickbaits of like, hey, you know, XRP, $10,000. You can actually come over here and request, um, in my little section here in charts, you can come over here and you can request certain coins to see where they're at. You know, are they, do they still have a, another open target? Do they need to drop? Or is it a good time to get in? You know, a lot of times when people post on here, you know, they'll get, you know, some excitement of some coin that took off and it's like super pumped and they're wondering like hey can we get in now it's like no you know what we're at the top wait for reversal then you can get in or hey you know what if i skip this or hey you know what good time to get in because it shows it's going to pump a lot more uh, we do have some trade calls that we post in the room um, and then you get uh two zoom sessions with me which you know are actually pretty fun you know we can go over you know portfolios some people just want to go over you know certain cryptos you know that they've heard about you know why you know i kind of show like the why where and what to look for in a sense whenever you do want to look for a project um i've had people vent and you know what you believe it or not like that's probably one of the best things ever is the fact you can have someone to listen to or someone that will listen to you know all your little concerns or like issues or you know gripes you know it we just finished a bear market you know what I mean? Like the, the the downward part of the bear market. You know, we're gonna go into the sideways. This is not as bad anymore. You know, it's not gonna just keep dropping and keep dropping and keep dropping and keep dropping, right? We'll have some ups and downs, which is, I mean, just as bad, right? You can have an emotional roller coaster ride where you're just gonna go up and down, up and down. I, but it's not gonna keep going down and down, you know, lower than what it was before in a sense. So those Zoom sessions do come in handy. Um, I do have another tier, but that one's completely full, and that one just gives you more zooms. And like I said, people love the zooms, and that's why I, I'll get overbooked sometimes, and I don't want to. So I have to lock that one down. And as well, again, if you were looking into learning how to do any kind of trading, you know, I got this, I got some beginner courses. Uh, I have a video, so that way you can continue to watch over. Um, I also offer a one-on-one. -on -one. That way we can actually, you know, pinpoint where, you know, you can need help at or, you know, your strongest points right what you can look for what you can take advantage of because a lot of times it's you know 
you look at all these other trading videos out there and they miss key components you know they talk about you know what indicators they're going to do what setup and how you should trade this but they don't even go over the basic stuff like you know the emotions involved you know good money management and stuff like that so with that said thank you for uh, joining me today and i will see you guys on the next one